Boom. What is going on, guys? Look at that. You know who it is. It's Curry Ninja MMA. <laughs> Just having fun, but anyway, just having some fun here, just uh, talking about these fights. Man, we're researching a lot of fights randomly, okay. But this one here, going back, this is a really fun matchup: Herbert Burns versus Daniel Pineda. Dude, what do we gotta say about this one? So, uh, we all know who the favorite in this: Herbert Burns, the Burns brothers, man, the Super Burns brothers taking over. Really great guy. Now, you look back in his fights. I mean, of course, there are a lot of finishes. He gets that done, that stuff done early. When you see his striking. Well, he's only 32. Look at look at these stats here, right? 145 is, of course, right? You know, 5'9 versus 5'7. He's got the little uh, 3.5 reach advantage, right? Look at significant strikes. Look at that. 2.96, 2.99. So, and look at wins by sub. We got Daniel Pineda by three subs. I, I, I think, what? Well, no, 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 no. Herbert Burns got to have more subs than that. What is this? Anyway, look at takedowns. Phew. I think so. But let's talk about the, let me, let me break down the skills, okay? Because stats, they can lie to you. It's good to check him out, but let me let me break this down. You got to go back and watch your own tape. Herbert Burns, the guy, this guy, I mean, look, we know the striking's there. Kind of similar to his brother. He's got the power in the hands. He'll throw a really, he'll just throw everything into that kick, that body kick. Whap, whap! He just throws it in there. And uh, so he's not exactly, as far as being polished, okay, if you're asking me who's a more polished striker, let's say even boxer, I mean, Daniel Pineda, as far as the strikes, you'll see Pineda, he'll change level, go off the center line to land a, a nice body shot with the right and then the overhand left. It's, it's really nice, um, tough guy, but Herbert Burns got that power in there. He'll throw it in. You can see when the way he's fighting, he wants to, he wants to get to the mat. You can tell that urgency. So one thing is he sometimes maybe a little bit wild, but he's effective. He has power in the hands. Like I said, he'll throw everything at body kick. He'll throw everything, you know, the kind of Muay Thai style, almost like a Muay Thai style, but I feel like he kind of reaches a lot. He's basically trying to close distance to get you the mat. So this can open him up to maybe getting countered, but I tell you what, he's tough. And even, you know, even if you're a finesse striker, it's just hard to deal with a guy when you know he's got power in the hands, he's coming at you with full force, and he eventually, he's gonna close the distance, and you're gonna be in his world on the ground. The, the Jiu Jitsu is looking good, man, very aggressive. Um, he'll get those subs, man. But uh, Daniel Pineda, I mean, look, the story with him, I'm mean, looking, no spring chicken at 145, right? 35 years old, uh, he was in the UFC, I mean, you have to look back, like 2014 and stuff. I mean, you watch his old fights. We're getting some good fights. Uh, cardio was somewhat of an issue. Um, but real tough. He'll get rocked. He'll still come back. I like the striking. It looks, it looks pretty slick. Uh, he'll clinch up for, with you. But for the most part, he wants to just kind of box. You know, he'll, the, the hands are looking pretty crisp. And he's got uh, the aggressive submissions himself. He'll go, he'll go into guard. He's kind of happy with getting taken down. I mean, I guess both guys are kind of happy in their, being in guard, right? So Daniel Pineda, though, he'll go for a lot of times like the triangle choke or the arm bar. He kind of goes for that. But uh, I think you know, he, he's got submissions too, like I said. So well -round, both well-rounded fighters, I think. But Daniel Pineda, you know, he's kind of letting him back in the UFC. Kind of, you know, at this point, they're looking for people to fill cards and stuff. I mean, no disrespect to him. I think he's good. And I think, you know, a part of me is like, you know, I like what he does. But it's just like Daniel Pineda, man, he just, he just, uh, how can I say? He's just like, he got popped, I guess, for like a little bit of testosterone. Got cut from the UFC. Went to PFL. Got, you know, and he got some good wins. Like he was in a little tournament where he had to fight. Two times the same night. And uh, yeah, look looked good. He's got submissions. But like, I just feel like, even though maybe I think the boxing, his boxing skill, as far as this, the crispness of those strikes, he's slick on the feet, but it's just not enough. I think Herbert Burns on the feet will be more dangerous. I think, you know, I could see Daniel Pineda coming in there. You know, he'll, he'll come forward. He's a tough guy. He'll go into it. But I think in the, in the end, the shots land, it will be heavier for Burns. Eventually go to the ground. And I think like, Daniel Pineda just, I don't see him submitting Burns, man. I think submit, even on the Burns. So it sucks. I, I mean, I think Daniel Pineda is a good, you know, a good fighter. I, I know I don't think, I don't know why people are just sitting on him, but I think, you know, like I said, the stand-up, he's, he's tough, crisp boxing, right? He's got the good uh, submission game too. He's a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. But anyway, he's a guy from Texas. I want to go for him, but you know what? It's a, you cannot be blinded by your heart. When, if you want to bet, if you want to go for a pick, you got to be analytical about it, right? So look, on the feet, I feel like Burns is going to be the heavier hitter. And I feel like, you know, time's on his side. He's, you know, he's just Daniel Pineda coming back to the big leagues uh, after getting popped. I mean, after you saw it, we'll see how he looks. And, um, and, I, and on, the, on, the, on the ground as well, I just have to give this edge to Burns, I think. I think it'll be a really fun match. But I, I could actually see Burns hurting Daniel Pineda on the feet. Maybe kill ben, Daniel Pineda will come back, kind of, you know, try to land something. But it, Burns... It won't let off the gas. Once he sees your hurt, he's going to, you know, just like his brother, the Burns brothers, right? They just 
boom, they're going to burn you. You know, <laughs> they're going to, he's going to, I can see him having, he's going to have an edge on the feet as far as power. He's going to have a, he's going to be aggressive. And once it gets to the ground, I just feel like he's going to have the edge. I mean, you know, having a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, that's no joke. But the thing is, there's levels to this. I mean, I, I feel like Herbert Burns is going to be, he's not getting submitted. He's going to defend the submission attempts from Daniel Pineda. When tr Daniel Pineda tries to throw up that uh, arm bar or throw up that triangle choke, I mean, Burns is going to know what's going to happen. I think he'll get the back. And I, I could see Burns submitting him at least by the second round. So good luck, guys. I mean, you know, I know this line's going to go crazy. But, hey, I, I just, I can't. I mean, I could see you sprinkling on Pineda just for the hell of it. Maybe you want to go from It's going to be a fun fight regardless. But betting-wise, I mean, you can't really go against Burns, right? All right, peace out, guys. Have a good one. <laughs>